Hey, it's Emily from SupplyHouse.com, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the differences between swing check valves and spring check valves. Check valves are piped in line to ensure the flow direction in water and gas applications to prevent backflow in a piping system. The direction of flow is shown with an arrow on the valve. This is important as the side from which the fluid enters and exits must be correct when installed. The two most commonly found styles of check valves that SupplyHouse.com carries are swing and spring checks. Swing checks have a hinged door shaped like a disc that hangs inside of the valve. Pressure from the fluid entering the inlet pushes the door open, allowing flow to the outlet. The door only opens one way, so fluid pushing from the outlet will not flow backwards through the valve. Swing checks tend to be less expensive and impart low resistance to flow. They can be installed horizontally and vertically where the fluid flows from the bottom up, but cannot be used where flow travels in from the top to the bottom, as the disc will hang open if there is no flow. They may make noise when closing due to the disc slamming shut when flow stops. While swing check valves rely on gravity to close when there is no flow, the disc on a spring check valve is held closed by the tension of a spring inside the valve. Pressure on the inlet pushes against the disc, overcoming the spring and allowing flow. The disc cannot open when pressure is applied from the wrong direction. Spring checks can be installed in any orientation and provide a greater degree of backflow prevention than a swing check. They tend to be more expensive and may create greater flow resistance, but also tend to be quieter than swing checks. Swing and spring valves come in a variety of materials including brass, bronze, stainless steel, or PVC, and many connection types including press, sweat, pipe threads, or solving connections. For more information, visit the resources at SupplyHouse.com or email us with any questions.